What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and 364 days ago I made my 4,000 subscriber special 2021 Joe Talks Wrestling Room Tour. Now that video did really well, I've uh, only done two room tours in my YouTube history, 2017, 2018, 2021 obviously and I thought, you know what? Instead of being a subscriber special this time round, why don't I ask if you guys wanted to see just a normal updated room tour? There has been a lot of things updated throughout my room in the last year that are different from the last video, so I thought, why not? I uploaded a poll on YouTube community tabs and basically said, like this post if you want me to do an updated room tour. And a lot of you liked it, so here it is is the updated 2022 Joe Talks Wrestling Room Tour. Without further ado, ladies and gents, it's gonna be a long video, so let's get right into it. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are kicking the video off outside the Joe Talks Wrestling bedroom door. Here we are, the door hasn't changed much since last year. That is basically it. It's just a normal door with a couple of posters and stuff. So without further ado, let's move into the Joe Talks Wrestling room in three, two, one, opening the door. And this is what we see, guys. So we're gonna quickly turn around and shut the door. We're gonna start off on this side. Everything here is still the same as last year. Bully Scholarship Edition poster. GTA 4 Liberty City map poster. GTA 5 map poster and then GTA episodes from Liberty City poster down there. Now let's quickly move to this wall as this is the main attraction. This is what you guys see when my camera is set up on my desk. You see this wall. Now last year, last year I believe it was only these posters, uh, not posters sorry, framed prints up. A lot of these are new. So guys, kicking off the wall at the very top uh, breaking kayfabe right now, we have this awesome photo of me, Kip and Zach that we took from the triple threat match uh, just before the match started. Obviously, Kip still has his hair here. Uh, we took that before filming began. Then right here, I believe, I can't remember if this was before or after filming. Uh, I believe it may have been before Zach and I took this photo just before my retirement match. Moving down, we got my uh, custom Smackdown Thunderdome plaques, which I made. Uh, there's my first one. There's my second second one uh we've got a joe talks wrestling youtube thumbnail print that i got made for me by my friend harris uh then a hell in a cell thunderdome plaque this one was made by my girlfriend uh my girlfriend and harris are best friends uh, i've got two friends called harris there's one Harris and then there's another Harris. My girlfriend's best friends with one of them and these two were a joint Christmas present from both of them in 2020. Uh, up top now, the main attraction of the wall. You guys can't actually see this when I do my normal filming. But ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know what this is, uh, sorry about the light bulb glare in the way, but this is actually a framed piece. It is huge that features from top to bottom Every single backyard wrestling match that I had, including the result, the date it was uploaded, the location, everything from the very beginning of my career in a match against Jack Edwards on the 6th of September 2017, all the way down to my retirement match against Zach Rowe on the 15th of August 2021. It also features both sets of my iconic backyard tights. Not these ones, these are my newer ones. These are my OG ones that are in the frame. I've got my red and silver and my black and gold. This is my favorite piece on this wall. I love it to pieces. Then we also have over here, you can see me in the reflection, hello. Uh, this is a plaque uh, that I made. It's just a framed piece, a little commemorative ticket stub for when I went to Raw World Tour on the 6th of November, 2010. There I am, there's young Joe standing in front of the Raw ring. We have another one right here. This is from a few months later on the 16th of April. This was for my ninth birthday. Uh, yeah, there I am again. Absolute John Cena mark from day one. Moving across, we've got my Raw Thunderdome plaques. There's one, there's two. We've got my custom JTW poster that I made that is meant to be a bit of a tribute to this right here, WrestleMania Revenge Tour poster. You've got Undertaker on the side, John Cena on the side, them doing their moves, the logo, and then all the wrestlers on the bottom. That's basically what I wanted to do here. You can see there's me, there's Zach in the uh, background, then Zach on this side, me on this side, and then all of the JTW roster, basically, uh, or the vast majority of the JTW roster right there with uh, Malasalto, Zach, 
me and El Jantonio front and centre. Moving across, we've got my custom YouTube awards that I made. You guys can check that video out if you want to. Uh, this was just something I was looking for something to put on the wall and I thought, you know what, why not? 100 subscribers, 500 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers, and then the new one that was added this year, 5,000 subscribers. This was added uh, when I hit 5K subs in the summer of 2021. It was not in the room tour last year. To the right of that, we have this awesome note that I have from Gwig Lit, my form tutor in school, Mr. McGuigan, absolute legend. If you guys are doing your GCSEs or you're doing anything uh, English literature, English language related in school, go check out the Gwig Lit YouTube channel 100%. I will leave a card so you can check it out. Uh, absolute legend. He was the best teacher in that school, in my opinion. I would not have made it through school without Mr. McGuigan. So Gwiglet, thank you very much. Your note that you left to me on Leavers Day is framed on my wall for me to read all the time. Going back to the far left, this is the newest addition to the JTW wall. We have this massive 20 by 16 JTW wrestling collage poster. I took inspiration from my Thunderdome plaques and I basically wanted to make a massive JTW print. This features Pretty much a screenshot from every JTW Backyard Wrestling video from the very beginning up top. Literally over here you can see that's one of the first matches we ever had. Uh, El Jantonio getting speared by Zach up top. All the way down to the bottom right here where you see Zach and I vacating the JTW Tag Team Championships. Love this print. Absolutely love it. It took me ages to make on Photoshop. I'm really happy with how it came out and now it is on the wall. Moving over to the right, we have a photo of me, Kip Clips and Mini King, the 2021 YouTube promo champion Mini King. Uh, this was in the filming of the video where... Uh, Mini King revealed he was Kip Clip's promo champion and then Kip Cena helped Kip win the championship back just before Kip moved to Thailand. This was the last time I saw Kip Clips before he left the country and uh, yeah, it was a great day. And yeah, for those of you that don't know, sorry Kip, I am breaking your kayfabe right now, but I did actually film that video. Uh, moving down right here, we have the photo uh, of the thumbnail, I should say, of when I interviewed wrestlers live. It's Simon Miller. Uh, obviously, if you don't know Simon Miller, he is a What Culture presenter as well as his own personal YouTuber. Absolutely great guy. He was awesome to talk to at WWE Live. Got this photo of him throttling me for a thumbnail. I thought it would make it look a lot more uh, clickbaity, I guess you could say, just a lot more entertaining. But no, Simon wasn't actually angry with me. He did this all. It was all part of the act. And uh, yeah, he was awesome in real life. If you ever get a chance to meet Simon Miller and Adam Cleary, definitely go over and have a chat. I met them both and they were both awesome. Then over here, we've got this JTW Wrestling LED neon sign uh, that Zach got me for my birthday last year. Unfortunately, the red doesn't light up anymore. If I press the button, it doesn't work, but the white still does. This white strip here still lights up. Yeah, this is really cool. Uh, so yeah, that's on the wall. Massive fan of that. There's not really much more space to put anything else on the wall, so I don't think I will. But there you go. That was my up close and personal look at the Joe Talks Wrestling wall. We've already spent so long on that, so let's move across. Up here, we just got a load of my jewellery and stuff. You don't need to see that. Then we've got my Nintendo shelf with my custom game spines. Uh, I hate it when games have blank, like, default text game spines like this. It's an exception for the 3DS because they're all like this. But when you've got some games that have custom spines and some that are just generic, I'm like, screw that. I want them all to be cool. So all of these are actually photo paper. Uh, I watched a video by Nintendo of how to make custom reproduction labels for your video game covers. And uh, I basically just cut out the spines of them, printed them off and slotted them in. And I think they look so much better. Then we've got a couple Nintendo 64 games and Universal game cases right here. Super Mario 64 and The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Up there I've got Super Smash Brothers as well. Uh, Super Mario Brothers 3 for the NES is up there as well. My 3DS game collection. Uh, my normal Nintendo DS game collection right there we've got a duff energy drink from the simpsons a captain america shield right here going down one more shelf we've got my commemorative replica of the undertaker's urn uh which is you know commemorating the streak there it is on the back all of the streak victims at wrestlemania right here we have this awesome custom joe anthony figure that my girlfriend made me for valentine's day it is of course just a seth rollins that has been painted up to look like he is in my red jtw attire which is awesome absolutely loved this i cannot believe she actually went through the effort to make this for me absolutely 
awesome. Behind that, we got some PlayStation 2 games as well as some Xbox 360 games behind there. As you can see, they are behind my Joe Talks Wrestling light box. Uh, I'm just going to put this stuff there and then move this out the way so you guys can actually see all of my wrestling games or the vast majority of my wrestling games i actually parted ways with my original xbox so there's not as many on there as there was last year but there they are still really cool moving that back where it was if we go down a shelf we have the harry potter shelf now those of you that don't know i am a massive massive harry potter fan all of these are first edition hardbacks of the original harry potter series we've got my elder wand my wand from olivander's and universal orlando harry's wand over there We've got my face mask that I wore at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in London. Uh, we've got the Hogwarts Library collection right here, the Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts DVDs, and then a chocolate frog right there. That is my Harry Potter shelf. Going down once more. We have some wrestling books right here, autobiographies, just general wrestling books. Newest one to the collection that wasn't here last year, Drew McIntyre, A Chosen Story. I've began reading it, but I need to really finish it. Uh, I'd like to add some more books to this shelf. You like Mox's new book, John Moxley. Would love to read that as well. Bootio's box right there, my James Bond DVDs. We got uh, Casino Royale, Quantum of Solace, Skyfall, Spectre, and then this year we added No Time to Die, the brand new Daniel Craig James Bond film. This is just Daniel Craig set right there. He's the Bond I grew up with. Down here, we got some more DVDs, the Marvel films, uh, Back to the Future, the Inbetweeners, just some more DVDs, a lot of stuff that's uh, around 12 and up right here. So yeah, if, if you want any good recommendations of films, then there's some there to check out, but a lot of them are 18. So, you know, my younger audiences don't watch. Uh, up there, we got my Ocarina as well from Zelda. I have, I don't even know why I bought that. I bought it years ago. My Money in the Bank custom briefcase right here. Uh, and that's basically it for this wall. Moving up though, we have the JTW Intercontinental Championship that was vacated by Zack Rowe not too long ago. There it is, the JTW IC title. It is on the camera side wall. I think I might move it though. Uh, but for now, it is back on this wall. If we quickly go to the left, we've got some old posters. Nothing's changed here from last year except what? It's Mini Joe from that surprise video that I did not too long back. Uh, Mini Joe is a former Kit Clips 24 7 champion, and uh, he somehow magically, mysteriously ended up in a mystery box at my house. So here's Mini Joe. He sits at here right now. Uh, I haven't found any uses for him in videos as of late, so he basically just sits here to hold my hat. Uh, <laughs> that's all he does. Apple Watch charger, CRT TV, the Master Sword over here. We've got my normal TV, uh, my games consoles, my Nintendo Switch, Xbox 360, GameCube, PS2, PS1, N64 and NES. I used to have an original Xbox, but I sold it. TV remote, wireless charger. Down the back, you've got the barbed wire bit of wood that I hit Zach with, as well as a, uh, a bowling pin. Up on this wall, we've got my WrestleMania Revenge Tour poster, my Red Dead 2 uh, and yeah, just Red Dead Redemption and Red Dead 2 posters right here. Uh, not too much has been added. This is the fan art wall. There's a couple new pieces that have been put up this year. We've got stuff like this uh, from Joe McManus and AXB Monster. You know, a, a few of these YouTube comments that weren't there last time. All of this stuff has been added in the last year but other than that the fan art wall i haven't had to add anything major in a while so guys send me drawings send me fan art on instagram if you do i like to put it up on the wall moving on to the desk we have my uh just my mini fridge there's nothing in there right now on top of that we got my playstation 5 camera i will be using that to stream wwe 2k22 in the near future logitech speakers an aoc monitor uh, oh, there we have my computer. This is where I set up the camera. I put it right here. Uh, literally sits there, but obviously it's front-facing camera. Down there on the desk, we have my IC title and JTW Tag Team Championship side plates behind there. Here is my watch box. This is mainly just filled with uh, watch straps and accessories for the Apple Watch. So yeah, I keep them all in there. There's the side plates box if you uh, if you ever were curious, that's where I keep them. Just loads of side plates in that box. Putting that back underneath, we have the JTW laptop prop. And then to the right of that, we have my PlayStation 4. Next to that is the PlayStation 4 DualShock 4s. I've got two of them on their charging dock. 
Moving down once again, we have my keyboard and mouse, nothing really important there. Down again is my game collection, or my modern day game collection. We got a, one PS5 game, the rest are pretty much all PS4. Then there's a few Xbox 360 and a few PlayStation 3. On the floor, just some shoe boxes and some general tap. To the right of that, we have my computer. It's a fierce Iron Wing Nebula. Uh, I don't know the specs in detail, but it does the job. Then it's my bin. Then quickly, we have just this little shelf uh, where I've got my aftershave, chewing gum, uh, stuff like that, Nintendo Switch cases, Nintendo DS case, pen pot, my wallet, my custom uh, YouTube idea book that I made. It's just a red journal that I uh, glued a white triangle on to make it look like a play button. And uh, yeah, moving up, we have my United States Championship replica belt, the original version uh, by Figures Inc. right there. And uh, other than that, in the final part of this side of my room is I have these awesome photos of me and my beautiful girlfriend, Ellie, uh, surrounding the top of my bedroom. She is absolutely amazing. Maybe we'll get her on a YouTube video one day. I don't know. But for now, yeah, that's where I keep all photos of us. Now, we've done this half of the room. Let's move into the second half in three, two, one. We've moved and here is my Ikea Detolf with my PlayStation 5 on top. I'm looking after it, guys. For those of you that are curious, I haven't had it long, but I dust it twice a week. Uh, try and keep it in good shape. That sits on top of the Detolf. It's basically, it basically fills up the whole thing. I'm trying to leave as much room for ventilation as I possibly can. Down below, we have my 2014 Network Logo WWE Championship with the current champion, Brock Lesnar's side plates on there. Down below that, we have my favourite championship, or one of my favourite championships, the WWE Spinner Championship. And then, guys, you're not going to like me for this one. Below that, I'm really killing kayfabe here. The JTW World Heavyweight Championship that was supposedly destroyed by Zack Rowe as part of the final major JTW storyline last year. Guys... It wasn't actually thrown in the canal. That's the power of uh, making videos and, you know, the power of filmmaking, I guess. The title wasn't actually destroyed. I just wanted a way to write it off. And uh, now that it's actually, you can see that it's back. I didn't actually destroy it. I think I might put this championship back up on this wall and then have the JTW IC title on this wall. So I've got both JTW belts opposite each other, then put the US title in the debt of. Below that, we have the ECW championship and uh, I think a spare El Jantonio mask. Then next to that, it's a bit dusty, but I've got my side plates collection. Uh, I don't know exactly which boxes they are, but I've got Brock Lesnar, The Fiend, Jeff Hardy, Braun Strowman, Seth Rollins, Daniel Bryan and Dean Ambrose side plates. Next to that, it's just a night backpack then up on the wall again we have my tv nothing new from last year other than the fact that i've actually connected the wii to it now so i've got that wii motion bar up there uh right here we've got my bed uh we've got a builder bear that ellie got me which i love which i think is awesome a donut pillow from universal orlando and then snorlax my favorite pokemon uh in front of the debt off we've got my wardrobe some general tat up there panda heads universal championship strap uh my kickboxing grade in stuff my wwe calendar my work calendar uh on this wall we've got the jtw tag team championships then if i go around this side you can see the tag team titles on the wall uh zach and i were the last two t uh, last two people to hold those titles up there we've got my custom deku shield from ocarina of time that i made in 2018 and then the 2019 youtube promo championship we got a couple kickboxing certificates a collage of photos of ellie and i my amazon echo one of them octopuses things you know the reversible octopus that can be happy and it can be sad from tiktok not too long ago i think ellie and i won this in the 2p machine when we went on holiday last year uh tv remotes and amazon fire stick remote these drawers i've got two sets of these drawers now one there one there this is all of ellie's stuff so i'm not going to go into that it's not my stuff it's hers all of ellie's stuff is in there for when she stays down down on the floor we have my wrestling training bag i'm actually back at wrestling school tomorrow as time of recording but uh, by the time you see this video i would have already been this doesn't have anything major in it just my knee pads and uh, my boots as well as a towel uh, i also bring like a bottle of water or something you know i don't bring too much but i'm starting off at the square one wrestling academy in hertfordshire 
uh, as of tomorrow. I'm going to try there. It's a closer wrestling school that I found recently. Before that, I trained at the New Breed Wrestling Association. Absolutely fantastic. If you guys want to train to be a professional wrestler in the Warwickshire slash uh, sort of Banbury area, definitely check out MBWA. They are awesome. Hopefully, I can get back there one day. Uh, over here, we've got my uh, PlayStation 5 3D Pulse headset. Absolutely awesome is that. Some drawers of just, you know, normal stuff in there. Underwear, socks. Uh, the bottom drawer is actually Ellie's stuff as well. The DualSense controller for the PS5. A wireless um, charger with that charges my Apple Watch, my AirPods, and my phone. Bottle of water, some plugs, a fan, my bed, and uh, yeah, over here is the window, the final part of the video. And here you see the uh, the well loved JTW backyard. Now, guys, I'm going to share some heartbreaking information with you all right now. This is the final video you are ever going to see. That right there, Trampa Ring in as. I think either this afternoon or another day in the near future, we are actually dismantling that and uh, it's going to the dump because it is absolutely battered. I don't know if you can tell from here, but oh my God, it's missing springs. It's, it really is a health hazard. So uh, yeah, now JTW's done. We are unfortunately getting rid of the trampoline. So moving back in, this is it, I think. I think I've covered all of it other than the general tat up there. Uh, there's not really much else for me to cover, guys. So there you go. I mean, there's my bed. We got the old CRT over there. I did forget to mention that that is actually for like my N64 and NES games. If I choose to play them, I will play them on that TV. We got some Jordans down there. Uh, but other than that, I think that's basically it. So there you go, guys. That was my updated 2022 Joe Talks Wrestling Room Tour. Let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. There's been a few things that have been updated since last time. Obviously, the PS5. There's more stuff on the wall. We got the drawers over there. There is so much more on the uh, in the actual room than there was last year. Some things have gone, unfortunately. They've been replaced. Uh, but we got a load of new stuff as well. Let me know your thoughts on this video. I'm going to try and make this a yearly thing, I think. So... Yeah, hopefully I will see you guys for the 2023 room tour a lot sooner than we anticipated because it only feels like yesterday when I did the 2021 room tour. But anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Burn!